Scouting once the season has started kind of changes up a little bit. I'm a big fan of cell cameras. I love having those out in a lot of areas. I can put them out early in the year, big batteries in them, don't have to go back and check them. That gives me a lot of data to determine big deer are in the area or they're not. Once I kind of get dialed into the thought that there are deer in an area, I want to figure out where those deer are bedding. Then I want to start figuring out where they're traveling to and from to feed, to water, uh, to get back to that bedding area, and then where I think they're going to chase does at. What I don't want to do, even though I do it at times, is go into that bedding area. I want to leave that as the holy sanctuary, whether it's five acres, 50 acres, or 100 acres. If I know that I've got a lot of deer living in, say, a creek bottom, living in a big mesquite thicket down here in South Texas, or maybe it's along a ridge in, in Kentucky or some big hardwoods along a fence line in Kansas, wherever it may be, if I know this is where those deer feel comfortable at in the middle of the day when they're bedding and they're, and they're resting up, I want to avoid going in there at all possibly can. And if I do go into those areas, I want to go in there in a manner that is kind of consistent with what those deer are used to. Is there, are they used to a farmer or a rancher driving that fence line? Are they used to somebody coming in and taking care of the cattle a certain way? Then I can sneak in there and stuff. But if, if they're not used to anybody walking in there, I don't like to walk in there because that's going to educate them. It might bust them, push them to a new area. It could be when somebody else is hunting that fence line on the other side and they get a shot. What I'm trying to figure out, I know that deer's bedding here. Now, how do I get to that deer so that he's coming out to where I'm going to be? Playing the prevailing wind in my face, trying to find the food source that deer is going to, trying to find the water source that deer is going to, hanging a stand, putting a pop-up up, putting a tire blind, a box blood, whatever it may be, that's my next thing. So that that deer will go back where he's comfortable and then when I get the right situation and the right conditions, I can slide into where I think I've got a shot to get him and maybe I get him and maybe I don't.